Hey there, Pisces! Welcome to your weekly reading for the week of October 24th through the 30th of 2020. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, um, I recommend that you guys lead with your rising sign. That's most likely going to be the reading that resonates for you the most. Obviously, you can watch any sign or placement that you're looking more information for more information on. But I generally like to say to work with your rising sign the most to get the most accurate uh, energies for you. Also, keep in mind that my channel has switched over to Sidereal, yeah? So if you have not checked that out yet, I highly recommend that you do so. You can just Google a Sidereal chart calendar, put all of your information in there and see what it comes up with, see how it changes, see how it doesn't change because things don't always change for everybody um, and see how that resonates for you, yeah? Excellent. With that said, let's just get straight into this. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisceans at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the week of October 24th through the 30th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Pisces, let's see what we've got for you here. I'm going to give this five shuffles and we're going to see what is going on for you this week. Yeah, what's your central theme this week? One. Two. Three. Four. A Pisces, from a Pisces, 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 five. All right, Pisces, let's see what we've got for you here, yeah? Woo, all right, all right, all right. Hold on a second. What do we got for you, Pisces? What do we got? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Interesting. All right, Pisces. So you have man holding a heart, angel of balance, indecision, and community. All right. So interesting, Pisces. I just heard Aries. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries. I don't know if you have Aries in your chart. Um, but that might be significant for someone, but I feel like there's love involved here, Pisces. Um, and there's a masculine energy that is torn right now is going through a process of balancing Pisces. This could either be you or someone that you're connected with this. And, and when we say, when I say like masculine or feminine, I am not talking about gender here. I'm just talking about energies. Okay. But it feels like, feels like there is a connection. Um, in which there's a little bit of fear involved, uh, but there's also a good amount of indecision here. Someone is choosing whether they should move with where their heart is guiding them to, um, or someone is ch or or choosing to stay where a community would guide them to be. Their friends circle, their close relationships, the people that they find closest to them around them. This could be love. Um, doesn't have to be love. It could be some sort of creative pursuit or something that really speaks to your heart. Now, the saving grace here, Pisces, is that whomever this individual is, the angels are working with them right now. This is a process. I don't feel like this is indecision for any real reason other than someone is changing the game, flipping the script, is facing a choice to go in a direction that is not a direction that they would normally go in. However, with the angel of balance here, I feel like this is ultimately a good thing and it's going to turn out to be a good thing. Okay, uh, let's get into what's crowning you this week, Pisces. Five shuffles, this is one. 
crowning you or crowning the situation. This is two. Because I do feel like Pisces, if this isn't you, either the masculine energy here or an individual that's more focused on through their masculine energy, then this is someone you're connected with, okay? This is three. Four. And five. Uh, there's a good amount of mystery here, Pisces. And with the Angel of Balance, I feel like you are in a place or this person is in a place of getting some balance, like I said, or needing to gain some sort of balance or grounding, okay? Let's see what is crowning you for this situation this week, Pisces. <laughs> Miracles, okay. Um, if this is a love situation and you are connected with someone and you're aware that they are in, uh, I'm hearing things like they're in some sort of toxic energies or some sort of karmic energies or some sort of karmic ties in some way. I think you need to really just let go and find some balance and grounding for yourself because, and just let the universe work it out. Because even when I said before, when I was talking about the angel of balance and I was like, I feel like some, the angels or the universe is working on behalf with this person or on your behalf or something like that. And this feels like it's a good thing, no matter what you might be seeing in the, uh, in, in, in the physical right now, I did just hear the future is looking bright. You just have to let go and allow miracles to take place because miracles are way more common than we think. A miracle doesn't necessarily have to be some big grand thing. A miracle can be just a small, tiny little thing. But also I think you need to, what I'm hearing here is you need to allow yourself to believe in miracles because this situation really does have the potential to turn around or to turn around in ways that you never even dreamt of, okay? And if you are this individual that's, that's in this, you know, this heart space, um, trying to make a decision in which direction to go in, especially if this is some sort of creative endeavor. Um, I feel like you really just need to allow yourself to go, follow your heart, lead with your heart. I'm also hearing lead by example because miracles are possible. All right. Let's look at what's grounding you this week, Pisces. Four shuffles. One. Two. Three, for my Pisceans. I love my Pisceans. I love y'all so much. And five, uh, four, sorry, four. <laughs> All right, Pisces, let's see what's grounding you this week. Uh, liberation, look at that. This is either your grounding force what's grounding you this week or what is your driving force. And I really want to say that this feels a hell of a lot like a driving. Oh, you have two. You have liberation. This is a heck of a driving force for you right now. And then you have comfort. All right. Um, and, uh, you know, if you are the individual that's in this indecisive space right now, what you really need to be focusing on is freeing yourself, liberating yourself, and going where it really truly feels comfortable for you, not just what the status quo or the hive mind or the com community says should be right for you. No, Pisces, what is really right for you? Honestly, where would you find the most comfort? If we're talking about love here, would you find comfort in the same type of person that you would always date or the same type of person that people would expect you to date or the same type of person or type of relationship that maybe is deemed acceptable to the community? Which in essence is you acting through a lack of authenticity, to be quite honest. Or would you rather go to the partner or the relationship or whatever that would actually really be comforting to you, even if it is considered taboo, you know? It's your happiness, not their happiness. So why shouldn't you be comfortable? Why shouldn't you be free enough to allow yourself to be in the arms of someone that really truly would comfort you? Oof, y'all are making me, getting me emotional here. Getting all up in the feels from a Pisces, but hey, that's fine, right? <laughs> All right, Pisces, let's get into the tarot here and see what your timelines are. What's more of your story? Yeah, five shuffles. One. 
two. Three. Four. Oh, oh. Let's try that again, Pisces. Four. And five. All right, Pisces. Let's cut the deck. Boop. Boop. Okay. No, no. Oh, geez. All right, I'm going to take these two. But overall energy, we have the Page of Swords. Seeking, trying to understand, trying to make a decision, seeking information. Okay, underneath the Page of Swords, yeah, you have the Two of Swords. Someone really is indecisive right now. King of Pentacles to the star. Okay, um, I feel like someone is in an effort of trying to come out of some, some, yeah, they're trying to come out of some way that, wow, Pisces. Okay, they're trying to come out of some sort of element that they've always been in. Um, and this is fixed energy, all right? So you might be dealing with a fixed sign, mainly a Taurus, potentially, because the King of Pentacles does represent Taurus. But it could any be, it really could be any fixed sign, uh, Taurus, uh, Leo, Aquarius, S Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be also. But this is just a very fixed energy. This is someone who either knows very much who they are or has very much been the t this, a certain type of person pretty much their whole lives, or at least for a very, very long time. This is something that they're very heavily rooted in. And now they're trying to make a change. Um, the other cards that came out here, the other three cards are the Four of Cups, the Lovers, <laughs> and the Hermit. All right, so you could, this could be someone that is, is caught between two lovers, two potential mates. Um, but ultimately, uh, it, it doesn't have to be love. Obviously, it can be love because it's the lovers, but it doesn't have to be um, because ultimately the lovers is about a decision. And I like it to see it as addition, uh, 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 excuse me, a, um, a decision in terms of vice or virtue. Vice being, you know, what everybody else wants, what you've always done, blah, 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 or virtue being what your heart is truly calling for. With the four of cups here, there is something that is unfulfilling in a certain situation. And Pisces, either you Pisces or this other person maybe that you're connected to, is going through the process of deeply understanding themselves and what it is they really truly want and need. What is going to help them feel comfortable? Like truly comfortable. Someone is coming to terms with some aspects of themselves that they've never done, never come to terms with before. Maybe some aspects of themselves um, that are that they've hidden from themselves or they just kept from themselves or they were never allowed to express, whether it was through the other people around them, this community, or just because of their own fear of expressing it, which ultimately would <laughs> fall back on the community, okay? Because there's some sort of conditioning here that kept them from expressing this part of themselves. Seeking, now, now here's the other thing that I really wanna, I really want you guys to be reassured here I don't want somebody to start freaking out because I do feel like someone is actively making the effort or is, is taking some sort of effort to make a decision, okay? They're indecisive right now. That's obvious. You have indecision and you have the two of swords. But with the page of swords here, they're actively seeking, okay? Okay, let's look into your timelines here. Timeline A, we have the three of pentacles. We have the King of Swords, okay, Pisces, and then we have Strength, excellent, excellent. I like this. Again, Pisces, this is confirmation, another bit of confirmation here that someone is really doing the work. Someone is really trying to figure something out, okay? Someone is trying to come to the best possible decision that they can and is being very strong about it, being strong in the sense that they're, they're looking at it at all di as many different ways as they can to get as many, uh, as many points of view as they can in order to really see this thoroughly and make a, make a real good decision, okay? The, oh, wow, Pisces, this is really great. Uh, especially with this Three of Pentacles energy, this is a sense of self-mastery, all right? So rebuilding yourself, reworking on yourself or working on yourself in some way. 
timeline B or your second timeline here, you have the Six of Cups, you have the Moon, and you have the Ten of Cups. All right, the Moon being your energy here, Pisces, potentially. Common denominator, the Two of Cups. Yeah. So this very much could be about a relationship, Pisces. Very much. I want to pull one more card here on the Two of Cups. The Hierophant. Would you look at that? Okay. Yep. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. This could be a situation in which someone is looking to potentially enter into a same-sex relationship um, or maybe enter into a heterosexual relationship when they once were um, homosexual. Uh, and the only reason I'm really saying that is because number one, it kept popping into my head, but number two, that's something, that's like an example of something that could be super taboo to a certain community. You know, it doesn't have to be that, but that's kind of the example of what it, what this, this type of situation could be. Okay. In this second row, you have the six of cups, you have the moon and you have the 10 of cups. All right. But this is kind of confirmation that whatever it is from this person's path, excuse me, past that they may still be involved with or still getting themselves involved with, it, it, it's not their real full happiness. There's illusion around this sense of happiness with the Ten of Cups, okay? And so with, that's a common denominator here. You have the Two of Cups and you have the Hierophant. So there is a status quo type of situation in terms of relationship that is seeking an end or someone is seeking an end to. Okay, let's get into some clarification here. Now, when I originally developed this spread, I was clarifying with the Lenormand, but I really wanna, I just really feel like I'm, I vibe way more with Tarot than Lenormand. So if I need any extra, extra confirmation, we'll go to that, but I'm gonna stick with the Tarot for now. So we're gonna give this five shuffles here, one, and we're gonna get to clarifying, and I really wanna clarify this Two of Cups and the Hierophant first. So that was one. This is two. Whoops. I knocked over my unicorn. So sorry. This is three. Yeah, that's better. This is four. Don't mind me. And this is five. All right, so let's clarify. Let's talk about this Two of Cups and the Hierophant here. Yeah, look at that, Pisces. I'm telling you, someone is really looking to leave the past behind in some way. You have the Eight of Cups here. I really do feel like this person is leaving a sense of traditional a traditional relationships or traditionalism behind. You have the Ace of Swords also. See, there is definitely some truth and clarity that's coming through here. We have the Emperor, the Five of Cups, but then we also have the Five of Swords on that. The Emperor, the Five of Cups, the Five of Swords. So um, the Emperor talking about being the master of your own domain, being in control of your own life, making the executive decisions for yourself. This is either for you or someone that you're connected to, okay? this person is realizing is is kind of putting their foot down um a very a very fatherly energy very protective energy is coming through in this right now pisces in which someone is recognizing ace of swords whoa re recognizing that the status quo relationship is only leading to more sorrow is only leading to constant heartbreak and is it's sabotaging them it's a lose-lose situation and thus someone is choosing or in the process of deciding to walk away from that type of circumstance, Two of Cups to the Hierophant. Underneath the Ace of Swords, Pisces, is justice with the Ace of Cups. Justice for love and then death. Justice in terms of love and then going through a transformation there. I love that, Pisces. Let's look here at this bottom row. Let's talk about the Six of Cups first. 
What is the Six of Cups here from a Pisces? Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. This is definitely an energy in which someone has been going through the same thing over and over and over again and now they're starting to realize that it's not working out or this is just not the harvest that they want with the four of swords all right either either someone is realizing that this, this now or someone is sinking into and meditating on this trying to figure it out taking a break it's like they're going back and saying to themselves wait a second why do i keep ending up in the same place over and over and over again Three of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck here. Somebody is really working on themselves. All right. What is the moon? Strength. You have strength twice here. All right. Uh, with the, wow. With the Knight of Swords, someone is having the strength to fight against the illusion. Someone is having the strength to work towards seeing the illusion for what it truly is. Okay. Ten of Cups. Two of Wands, Four of Pentacles. If I really want true happiness, wish fulfillment, and emotional wish fulfillment and emotional contentment, then what do I need to choose to let go of? That's the question that's being answered there. There's that hive mind again, the Three of Cups. Okay. Um, let's go up to the top row here and let's look at the King of Swords and Strength. So, King of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign. Uh, they could be an Aquarian. Doesn't have to be, though. You could also be dealing with an earth sign. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo. But it also could be an earth sign. Again, doesn't have to be. You could also be dealing with a Leo. We have, we have strength here twice. You could be dealing with a Gemini. We do have Gemini here. An Aries also with the Emperor. A Taurus again, because now the Hierophant has come out on top of the King of Swords. Someone with the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, someone is done with the status quo. Someone is realizing this for what it truly is. What strength then? You do have Aquarius here twice, actually. The Knight of Swords. Exactly. Oh my goodness, Pisces. The star is at the bottom of the deck. Look. Look, 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 twice, twice. The star is at the bottom of the deck now. All right, and strength is absolutely having the strength to fight back. I did hear ego battle. Someone could be battling their ego uh, or you could, someone could be battling the egos of other people. But Pisces, uh, the message was strong in the beginning and it's even stronger now that we have the star underneath the deck, at the bottom of the deck twice. And Pisces, you absolutely could be dealing with an Aquarius. The star is here twice, plus the king of swords. Strength is here twice. So you could be dealing with, you really could be dealing with a Leo as well. You could be dealing with an earth sign. So, so if we're going to rank this by, by, by um, strength uh, in energy, Aquarius first, Leo second, earth sign third. Either Taurus or Virgo, but it also could be a Capricorn. Okay. But anyway, the message was strong in the beginning and it's even stronger now because you have the star at the bottom of the deck twice with miracles here i really feel like this is going to work out in your favor pisces you have to be strong you have to allow the situation to run its course you have to allow the universe to work on your behalf i'm hearing this marriage is possible i don't know who is that who that's going to resonate for okay but you just have to allow you have to believe in miracles and even if you're this individual that's indecisive here, you could need to believe in miracles in the sense that maybe you're afraid that the, your community or whatnot won't accept you. And okay, so maybe they'll, you know, maybe, um, maybe it might be a little bit difficult at first, but that doesn't mean that they can't come around. Okay, believe in miracles, Pisces. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I uh, highly recommend that you guys check me out on Patreon, especially since this was very much a love type reading. Um, I do monthly love readings per sign over on Patreon. So if you'd like to get in on that, it's only $5 a month and you get access to all the monthly love readings that I do. Um, also, if you're looking for a personal reading, I am absolutely available for that. All you have to do is email me. All the information is in the description box below. 
But with that said, Pisces, I hope you have a fantastic week and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>